Hey friends, welcome back to Beer and Beauty, it's Kasha. So today's video, it's gonna be a little bit different. Uh, I decided to go through one of my older hard drives and I found a haul that I shot in July of last year, in 2018, that I never ended up posting. <laughs> and I decided to go ahead and edit it and I was gonna post it, but there's a couple things that as I was editing it, I noticed how much my shopping habits have changed since doing the snow by year. And I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of context before you go ahead and watch that video. That, as you can see, <laughs> in that in this video, my hair is much shorter because it grew over the, past, the course of the last year. Everything's changed. Basically, everything's changed. So, I hope you find that interesting, and at the end of the video, I plan on doing a bit of a... Like, sharing some of my thoughts about how things have changed. If that sounds interesting to you, keep on watching. Hey, what's up, you guys? Yes! <laughs> I've been watching, like, so much Shane Dawson lately. Today, we're gonna have for you a collective Ulta haul. As you know, I haven't been around for a while, but I've been accumulating stuff that I've been collecting from Ulta for months. This is actually a big haul from three different shopping trips to Ulta. One of them was back way back from December 21st, 2017. One of them was from April 19th, 2018 and also recently uh, June 30th, 2018. I have a lot of cool stuff here and I wanted to still kind of show it all to you because I have barely broken into it. Like it's actually kind of bad because uh, whenever I buy stuff, I feel bad about using it before I've gotten a chance to haul it and everything's been just so crazy lately that I haven't gotten a chance to haul it for you. So let's go ahead and just get into it because it's... without further ado, let's get into it. Back in December, the reason I uh, went over to Ulta was, well, they're always having great sales during December um, and I saw that this was on sale. Um, and I was, you know, I've never gotten one of these Lorac Pro Mega palettes before, and I heard lots of great things about this one. So I picked up the Lorac Mega Pro 4, and this is what it looks like inside. I've, I did get a chance to use it a little bit. There are some pretty unique colors in here. I used it for a mermaid look that I did back in March. And yeah, I used this unicorn color, which is pretty fun and cool to use in there. This peacock color, this moss color. This is a really nice palette. I do need to use it more. Yeah, now that I've hauled it, hopefully I pull it out more. I'm really excited about that. Seems like a really unique palette. It's very cool toned, which is cool. But there's a good mix of everything. These two rows are matte. These two rows are shimmers. Um, can't wait to dig into that a little bit more. The Rock Mega Pro 4 palette. Next thing I picked up was a huge mistake. As I was moving, I discovered in a big container of bubble wrap that I was keeping that I had ordered these blushes before, but I ordered them again because I, like, I thought for whatever reason it didn't, I didn't order it with my most previous order. So can't get them out of this dingus wrapper. But anyway, it's these. Um, Essence Satin Touch Blushes. So I got both of the colors that they have. I heard Jen Love's reviews say that these are really nice blushes. But seeing as I have two of these, make sure you subscribe to this channel for a chance to win these in a giveaway. I'm probably going to be doing a giveaway soon because I've got stuff kept kicking around that I, like, I have doubles of, like these, that I'd like to give to one of you guys. I'll let you know how they go. I haven't used these yet, but they, you know, Jen Loves Reviews said that these are really nice. They look like really pretty, nice nude colors. This one's a little bit more peach. This one is a little bit more mauve. Obviously, I only shop at Ulta whenever there's sales going on. So I decided to stock up with some brushes. Got this Eco Tools Ultimate Shade Duel. Duo, I've never used Eco Tools brushes before. And I got a couple more. I think there was like a sale uh, for Eco Tools brush sets. Buy one, get one half off. So I got this Eco Tools brush set. I've never used Eco Tools brushes at all before. This powder brush looks really nice. But these other eye brushes, I don't know about those. I don't know if I'll ever pick those up. A little pouch in there too, a little spoolie. Can never get enough spoolies. This one's the Enhancing Eye Set. Oh, it's a double brush set. So there's two in the bottom here, and there's two in the top here. 
These look like they could be pretty handy, so we'll see how those go too. And then I got a, a number of elf brushes. I think it was J- I was looking at J Kiss's recommendation. I heard this blending brush was really amazing from e.l.f. I also got this tapered brush and also this contour brush from e.l.f. Really excited to take those out and finally use them. They've been kicking around since December and I haven't used them yet. But luckily they're just brushes so they're not gonna go bad or anything. Um, something I did actually start using a little bit, I've been needing to take better care of my hair. I'm actually ha having a pretty good hair day today. I used the Whey leave-in treatment, like a deep conditioning tre treatment, and I th the work is good. It like makes my hair really smooth, really soft and shiny. Um, I like that treatment a lot. But anyway, I uh, was looking for some sort of detangling spray because, well, I actually, since the last time you saw me, I cut it all off. So <laughs> I don't have as many tangling issues anymore. But I figured it would also come in handy in my hair kit for when I do blowouts and stuff. Uh, for people who have longer, thinner, softer hair like mine that gets caught in the brush easily, to use a little detangling spray to help the blowout come out nice and smooth. And I did some research and I found that this one was a favorite detangling spray. I used it a little bit on me. It hasn't impressed me so far yet. This is the Pureology C Serious Color Care Color Fanatic. And it's apparently some sort of detangling spray and it's got 21 essential benefits. Ooh. It can prime, protect, and perfect. It protects against color fading, excellent leave-in conditioner, instantly detangles, makes blow drying easier, moisturizes parched hair, helps even out porosity, weightless conditions, ideal cutting lotion, helps prevent split ends, helps prevent prevent breakage from brushing and combing. So yeah, maybe I need to just use this more, but so far I'm pretty, I don't know. Those are only half of the benefits that it lists here. Those are just half of the benefits that were listed there. All those benefits made it sound really impressive. I just would say so far that it's pretty good, but I think I need to maybe use it more um, to learn if it's really that good. I uh, also wasn't sure which one to pick between that one and this one, so I bought both. This is the Kedra Platinum Blowout the Tingling Spray. I actually don't know how this works. It seems like it would be just wet. I haven't used this yet, so I don't know how this will go, but yeah, these are just two detangling sprays that I got for helping my hair from to keep from breaking. I've since cut it all off, so it doesn't break as much as it used to, but um, I am trying to grow it out. Right now I'm doing some Investing in a multi-step process to repair my hair. Last year around this time you saw me with purple hair. Fashion hair colors can be really like intense <laughs> on your hair. can really, you know, they're not nice. <laughs> they're not good. I also picked up a couple things from MAC. I picked up this mini of Velvet Teddy, which is like a classic lipstick that is beloved. And this was when MAC was just beginning to be sold at Ulta, so that was really exciting. It's just a classic nude. It's about this big. It looks really pretty. Maybe I should have worn that one today. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got lipstick on my teeth. No! Yeah, I think that probably would have been better with the look I'm wearing today. It smells really good. Oh, it's got that delicious vanilla MAC lipstick scent that I love. <laughs> that is pretty. I think that does complement the look a little bit better. I also picked up a lip pencil. I do have one MAC lip pencil in my kit. It's the cherry one and I love it so much. So I picked up another one that was raved about. This one's called Chicory from MAC. It's kind of like an orangey, reddish kind of color. It's like a rusty red, ooh. I love me some rusty reds in the fall. Maybe I'll even rock some in the summer. There's no rules, I don't follow rules. And then the last two things I picked up during this first uh, Ulta haul was um, two of the MAC eye curls. This one, I actually dug into these already. I used them. I think I'm actually wearing both of these today. I used Teddy all over my eyes in the waterline and I just d deepened it up with Smolder. MAC makes my favorite coal eyeliners. I like this one by uh, called Teddy, but I don't like when companies insist on adding shimmer to brown eyeliners. I wish it was just regular flat color. I call this one called Smolder from MAC. 
I am almost out of the one I have currently, so I haven't dug in this, into this one yet, but it's the most... It just makes your eyes look so beautiful and so black. It's my favorite uh, Cole eyeliner. It looked like there might be some sparkle in this one for a minute there, but it's it doesn't. It's nice and black, and it just makes your eyes look dark and beautiful, and I love it so much. I love it so much. And the last thing I got with this order is I asked for a mystery set of samples and I got I chose the skin samples and I think that the skin pet samples tend to be the best especially because this time I got like two deluxe skin samples which is great um, this is like a mini set of full uh, facial cleanser I've always been kind of freaked out by this cleanser I've never bought it or used it myself because the ingredients look scary <laughs> there's just like so many big words in there that I'm just I don't know about it is, from what I understand, dermatologist recommended and uh, it's worked for a lot of people so maybe I'll give it a shot. And then there's this one, sample size skin cleanser. This one's the Garnier Skin Active Clearly Brighter Argan Nut Gentle Exfoliating Cleanser with Vitamin C, Fruit Acid Blend, and Antioxidant Complex. This seems pretty interesting. I'm pretty excited to check this one out. Seems like it could be good. You know, drugstore cleansers. I haven't used drugstore cleansers since I was a teenager. Like, since before I was 18. Because I, when I was about 17, 18, I started using Clinique. The Clinique cleanser. And I never really went back to drugstore cleansers after that. So, um, that was the first set of things that I got from Ulta. And then when I shopped again during... April, uh, I got a couple more things. I forget exactly what was going on there. I don't know if it was 20% off or they just had some things on sale that I was interested in. Well, the number one thing that I was waiting to get from Ulta was um, this stuff. This is the this is the Nioxin three-step system for thicker hair for like chemically treated hair and it's it's supposed to be one of the best ways to if you have really thin sad hair like me let me just show you how thin my hair is like nothing and like when i get it wet it's especially bad it's actually like it's worrying how thin my hair is it feels like i have no hair and it breaks easily and it's so thin and i can't do anything with it so i want to have longer thicker, better hair. Right now I'm kind of working on healing my scalp because the reason that my hair has so much breakage and is so thin is because it's is I have psoriasis on the back of my scalp too. So right now I'm trying to heal my psoriasis in a real way. I got a bunch of shampoo and steroids from the dermatologist that I'm trying to heal my scalp with first. And then I'm going to try to use this. And you know, I haven't colored my hair in months. I think I colored it to make it brown before I went to the Caribbean at the beginning of the year. But yeah, I haven't colored it since. So yeah, once I'm all done with my shampoo from the dermatologist, I will consistently try to use this every day. I think I might even do that soon because like I'm doing a lot of stuff to get ready for this beach vacation that I have coming up in August, which is a month from now. So I'd love to have thicker hair. That'd be really cool. You know, I'm trying to lose some weight and do a bunch of cool different things to be hot at the beach. Um, Nioxin. I'm really excited to see how this works because it's not like I'm losing my hair. It's just, it's always been this thin and it's been recently pretty dry and flaky and it just needs some TLC. Hopefully this will transform my hair. I'm dreaming and wishing for something like this for a while. So I might do like a little before and after or something with this because I've, I've heard great things about Nioxin. And I've even had clients recommend it to me too. So I can't wait. I cannot wait to try this. This could be life changing. We'll see. <laughs> Something I've already kind of dug into that I really needed to pick up was some Ulta cotton pads. Nothing special, they're just exfoliating cotton pads. I use, the, I use these clients with, to tone their skin before I put on their makeup. I just put toner on this and I tone their skin and I remove any extra makeup and I get them, you know, ready to do their makeup. And I use these for other things, but that's the primary reason. And I had a pretty busy wedding and 
prom season already so I used up my last pack that I had and I'm already halfway done with this one so that's what I used that for. This was something I've been so interested in for so long and I finally pulled the trigger and got it and this was like surprisingly way cheaper than I thought it would be. This is the Sleek Highlighter Palette. The first time I saw this I think Jaclyn Hill like picked it up abroad somewhere. It's so shiny. Um, woo! Oh no. Dug my nail into this guy. This one's like a cream highlighter. Oh, let me go ahead and swatch it for you. I seemed so incredibly blingy. Like this was when the highlighters were still in the heat of being new and exciting. So that's the cream highlight one. And these just looked so blingy. I can't wait. I can't wait to use these more. But here I'm gonna swatch it like the lightest one there. I, I kind of did like a soft swatch there. And this is the yellowish one. The yellowish one is the bottom one. And then there's like the peachy one, which I'll put at the very, very bottom of my hand. They're all super blingy. So yeah, I'll try to use these on my face sometime soon. <laughs> they, they just look like different shades of ice. They look so blingy. And this was only about $15 and then I got it on sale on top of that. Sleek highlighter palette, can't wait to use that. And then I got a couple mascaras that were so hyped, like everybody has been talking about these mascaras. But there's the the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I heard that this was very comparable to uh, the Better Than Sex mascara. And I've been using it a little bit and I, I've been really liking it. I'd never tried it before. I recently just dug into it very recently, um, like a couple weeks ago. It's nice, but it doesn't blow my mind yet, but maybe I need to just... I haven't actually been doing makeup a ton lately because I've been just so damn busy. But if I, I bet if I compared it to other mascaras, it would be... it might be more impressive, especially for a drugstore. Uh, L'Oreal one. And then I also got the Essence Lash Princess. People cannot stop talking about this mascara. I'm not gonna open it yet because I need to use the other one at least 20 times before I open a new mascara. But yeah, that's the Essence Lash Princess. There was a sale on Physicians Formula Butter Blushes, so I picked up this one. A lot of the, the ones that I wanted were totally sold out. I have the Butter Bronzer, and I'm just really curious to try the Butter Blushes too. I'll see if this actually has a smell. Yeah, this is, this is also made with Murumuru Butter, just like the Butter bl uh, Bronzer is. And yeah, Kathleen Light says that this is a really lovely formula. Yes, it does, in fact, have the same delicious smell. And this one's in the shade Natural Glow. I feel like this will be really nice for summer because it's like light and pretty. And this might be really nice for really fair girls in my kit. So I wait to try some butter blush. Another cult product that I've been dying to try. This is the NYX. Epic Ink Liner. Everybody talks about this so crazily. <laughs> I still am working through my Kat Von D tattoo liner, but when that's done, I'm going to use this. And uh, uh, especially because I've heard that this is such a great dupe. It might be even better than the Kat Von D tattoo liner. So I'm excited and interested to check that out and see if it's true. The last thing I picked up during this particular trip was this Clinique little set. And it has the I'll take the day off makeup remover which is really good. Pretty easy eyeliner which is also like an I've heard is an amazing eyeliner that makes it super easy for you to do your cat eyes and it's like underrated like not enough people talk about it. There's a lash primer and a mascara in here too. Let's go ahead and look. Oh this is like a good size. Had a sample like a deluxe sample that I got for free. This one's a little bit bigger. So this will last a good while, I think. Oh, okay, it's a duo. So it's like a duo lash primer with mascara from Clinique. Then the pretty easy eyeliner. So I think that was actually on sale too, because it was like a holiday kit of sorts. But yeah, I think this was also on sale from Clinique. And this is like awesome. This is a good little compilation of things. And then the last thing that came with this uh, order was a couple of skin samples. And this time, I was supposed to get just skin, skin stuff. There's a foundation sample in here and I got like a double pack of these. There's an Estee Lauder Double Wear. I think, yeah, this is Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation sample. Um, I've never tried this foundation before and it's very much talked about a lot. And I feel like this Accru or this Ivory Beige or like a mix of those two might 
might just match me. I'm definitely gonna be checking that out, trying that out. Something that's missing in my skincare routine, routine is a serum. I don't really use a serum. Haven't decided on one that I need. If you know of a serum that helps with pH balance on the skin, like, cause I get psoriasis in my hairline and also on my eyelids, so I'd love to see introduce like a serum that helps resurface the skin and has a pH balancing property, I would love to see that. But I'm also pretty interested to check this out. This is the Strevectin Advanced Acid Rehydrate and Repump Dual Response Serum. And yeah, I got two of those in this box. And we're going on to the very last time I went shopping there. This time around, I uh, I had a 20% off anything in store coupon. So I did, needed to take it a hold of, uh, take advantage of that. Some Demi Wispies, can never get enough Demi Wispies for my kit. And then I decided I, I was actually, I'm actually totally all out of uh, my waterproof mascara in my kit. So I decided to get the Lash Paradise waterproof to throw in there. And then also another Lash Paradise backup. Cause I did like that one. I think I, I think I'm gonna just use these in my kit. And I also picked up, they were, there was supposed to be like a deal that if you spend a certain amount of money with L'Oreal, you would get a free gift. So I got this infallible L'Oreal sponge, which I hear is so good. Like Jessica Jam Beauty 83 says that this is her favorite blending sponge of all, so I'm excited to try that out. But, messed me up! They didn't give me my free L'Oreal thingy, my free L'Oreal gift. So, that's a bummer. Whatever, moving on. And then I picked up another cult product that I've been dying to try. Everybody uses this, and I've never used it before. This is MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Looks like this. Um, and it's just an eye primer, and you, and then this one's in soft ochre, of course, of course. Mac Pinchley Pink Pot in soft ochre. Can't wait to try her out. That way, I don't have to be the only loser that's never tried it before. <laughs> and the last thing that I got was I only had fifty dollars on my card that I could spend. This is actually seventy dollars worth of stuff. I had points on my account, helped me save nine dollars. Plus, I got twenty dollars off of everything. So. This is the ColourPop Give It To Me Straight Palette. I have so many ColourPop palettes at this point. But it is pretty exciting that Ulta now carries ColourPop so I can use all my points and benefits at Ulta and get my ColourPop fix. Looks kind of like a dupe of Modern Renaissance, but it's a little different. It doesn't have the deep pinks. It's actually pretty, pretty unique. That is ColourPop Give It To Me Straight. So that is it. That is the haul that uh, I did back a year ago, over a year ago, like a year and a half ago, it was 27 in that footage that you just saw. It was just fascinating to watch it because I just seemed younger. <laughs> Even though it was just a little bit over a year ago, I just seemed like such a younger person. And my shopping habits have just changed so much. First of all, I just want to talk about some of the products that I ended up buying. I used up almost all that nioxin. And luckily I did buy a number of things from my kit that I actually did need, like those mascaras and lashes. But there's a number of things I never ended up using. I never used that Kenra blow dry spray or the detangling spray. I never got around to using that. I'm still working on the Pureology spray, so that's interesting. I, I bought a ColourPop palette, which is currently being up for sale on my Poshmark. I'll leave a link down to my Poshmark below because it's just... It ended up being a color story that I simply do not use. It just not, I think I used that palette once or twice and then I listed it on my Poshmark. Want a cheap ColourPop palette? Check it out. I mean, ColourPop palettes are always cheap. I ended up giving away a number of the, the things that were there, including those blushes. I, I do like the other Essence blushes that were there. But the Sleek palette I almost never use. I bought a MAC the MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre, I just see so many people using it so often. And I don't know, I can't get myself to use it. I don't I don't really like it. It's so crazy because it's such a cult product. I'm just like, oh, so many people use this and love it. I'm definitely going to love it because I get makeup. I understand makeup. Um, and I don't really like it. I don't. Am I the only person that doesn't really like the MAC 
pink pots. It just, it's not the kind of makeup I do, you know. I I like to do, I like a nice silicone eye primer that prevents creasing. It was definitely a reminder that I, there's a ton of stuff I need to use up. I did use up the NYX Epic Ink Liner. Well, it just kind of exploded, started leaking everywhere, so I had to get rid of that. The Gardner uh, Cleanser Sample I ended up actually loving. That was in a favorites video, so that, that was interesting, but I didn't get around to using it until this year which is like a year and a half later. And the Lorac palette I bought because it was on sale during like Black Friday or something like that. And also one I've barely ever touched, like I used it maybe three times total. Some of the shad shadows are totally untouched and that is also up on my Poshmark if you're interested in that. It was just really interesting because now that I've done this like no by year, I've it's per into perspective my shopping habits and like there's certain things that happened during this haul that would never happen today. I bought way too many mascaras. I still have never opened some of the mascaras that actually that's not true. I bought more mascaras later on but without even having opened the mascaras that are featured in this video. Luckily there was only two eyeshadow palettes f featured here but I definitely I've been thinking about how this no buy year is going to continue on next year and I'm definitely gonna put in a little bit of as much as I love eyeshadow palettes I definitely don't want as many as I have and I don't want to expand my collection and use my favorite palettes less if uh, just for the sake of having more formulas to play with and try especially because if I'm not choosy enough with the eyeshadow palettes that I decide to keep then they will just never get used just the way exactly in the same way that Lorac Mega Pro 4 eyeshadow palette never got used and the ColourPop palette never got used and hopefully they, you know, get sold on Poshmark and if they don't, I'll maybe give them away to somebody. I think the, one of the most telling things is I never got around to using that detangling spray from Kenra because I was waiting to use up the first detangling spray, the one from Pureology. And now I know that when it comes to certain beauty products, especially uh, ones that I'm not sure about, backups are not the way. If, if I really do truly love a product, I'd ra rather buy it fresh and new than holding onto a backup for a year, two years, and then not even ever, perhaps never getting around to using them. That's why some of these like Black Friday sales and different sales that Ulta is constantly having, uh, this haul is also three different shopping trips probably because Ulta was having three different sales that I fell for you know but I in the future I will not be shopping in this way I will use up the products I have maybe experiment with certain formulas once in a while you know I do understand that there's like a balance that needs to be kept you know you want to be able to, to spice up your life with some some new things you know whether that's music or makeup or clothes or travel or whatever you need to you can't just recycle the old forever especially if you don't add, like like something in your collection you know for me I wouldn't be able to just have one eyeshadow palette and pan it before I can buy a new eyeshadow palette I I like having I'm an artist I like having that variety and that tech all those tactile materials to experiment with but I definitely want to be smarter about my money and I want to be smart about my collection I don't want things going to waste you know I want good use to be brought out of them and one way to for sure not get good use out of them is to have too many backups that you never get around to using uh, at this point in my life I used to really enjoy having tons of minis and I still do but this year I made a point to use up as many of the minis I had kicking around as I can and now the idea of having a mini is just like... I'm, I'm just so aware of how many minis I have and how long it actually does take to use one of them up. I'm just conscious about, about that and uh, before I make another Ulta purchase with all those free extra minis really want to take good inventory of uh, what I have and be realistic about whether or not I can can and will use these things. This is actually w wasn't the worst example of hauls that I've done. You know, I've done I've definitely been way more reckless with the products I've purchased before in big hauls 
Um, this is actually not that big of a haul, especially because a lot of the stuff that I was featured was stuff from my kit. Actually, something that I was really... It almost kind of made me sad to watch the part where I talk about how I'm expecting the Nioxin to really kind of change my life, <laughs> change my hair. Um, I mean, as you can see, my hair is much longer than it was in that video from a year ago, but it's not thicker. It is maybe even actually thinner. I was watching that video, I'm just like, wow, my hair looks like kind of healthy. It looks smooth and healthy. It's thin, not a lot of volume, but... Like, I remember twist, uh, I twisted my hair up into a little thing. I'll show you guys how thin it is. It seems like it's kind of still at the same level, maybe even thinner. Probably because, uh, you know, I bleached the bottom of my hair here and it's like really fragile. It's never, it's never really been the same. I think that's something that you learn about bleaching your hair. Once you bleach your hair, it's never really going to be the same. Maybe you won't die, but it will never be the same. Unfortunately, I don't think there is a product out there in the world that can make your hair thicker, which is why I'm excited that I had a cyst on the back of my head removed last week. So now I'm pretty excited about cutting my hair off. I'm gonna get like a cute like Ruby Rose pixie haircut. Still thinking about it though. Still, it's gonna be a while. I'm gonna wait for my stitches to heal. But uh, it was just a fascinating project to go through just to edit the, this old haul and reflect on how my shopping habits have changed. Yeah, maybe I should do this reflection on my old hauls to one of my more problematic hauls that I've posted, like one where I've probably spent like $700 or what have you. <laughs> that could be interesting. That could be an interesting thing to do for holiday. And it's especially interesting because I was tempted a little bit by the, the Ulta 20% off sale that recently happened and the Sephora VIB sale that just happened, that just ended. And I'm on my no by year and I'm still like, I have a stronger priority to save money rather than hop on those sales. And it was actually kind of relieving to to be able to skip the sale, to not have to think about what I'm going to buy and how I'm going to pay for it. To just skip it and say, you know what, I have everything I need. Especially because of the rules of the no-buy. I can't buy anything new unless I've finished something off and I have no items left in that category. So I have had to repurchase many things this year, but uh, at that particular moment when those sales were going on, I had nothing I needed to buy. I had plenty of moisturizer, serums, essences, toners, shampoo, conditioner, hair treatments, uh, body creams, body scrubs, dry shampoo, brow products, mascara, like everything, everything I could possibly think of, I had plenty of. So there was no need for me to shop that sale. And during this video that I just showed you, that was three different sales that I fell for and shopped at because I was just like, oh well. Oh, L'Oreal is going to give me a free gift if I buy three L'Oreal things. And I would fall for that kind of stuff all the time and have these things kicking around in my collection forever and that would never get used. It's actually really, it makes me happy to see that I've changed so much and have learned to be, to kick some of my more toxic shopping habits a little bit and live a life that is a little bit more sustainable financially and in terms of resources for the planet and for myself. So that is it. Um, I hope you thought this was fun and interesting. Tell me down below in the comments about some shop, shopping habits of yours that have changed over the course of the last year. Maybe you don't buy as many backups as you used to. Maybe you try to finish more things before you buy new things. Maybe you are just conscious of how many items you have in a category and, and then you try not to let that category get too big. Yeah, that's it. Before I go, I do want to share something with you. I have merch. <laughs> this is an official beer and beauty t-shirt that I designed and I actually hand painted myself with an airbrush. I don't know if you guys know this, but the, one of my many side gigs that I do is I can airbrush t-shirts. So I decided, you know, this channel isn't exactly huge. It's pretty small, but I think it'd be really fun and interesting to, to try this merch thing a shot, especially because I know how to airbrush my own t-shirts so I can do it at a really affordable rate. And you know, I don't have to bulk order anything. I can create them myself as the, the demand for them grows. 
So um, if you guys are so interested, I'll leave a link down to where you can buy these or they'll also be available on my Poshmark page. I, meant, I swear this video is not sponsored by anybody. Nobody knows who I am. I, th I just thought it would be easy for folks to buy them off of Poshmark if you're somebody that's already a Poshmark shopper or there'll be a link down below to my Square shop where I'll list these as well. But as you can see, it says cheers with a Z in airbrush letters. And the first 10 sales are gonna be super cheap. For anybody who wants to pick one of these up, uh, they're available in all sizes, all the way from, you know, extra small to extra, extra, extra large. All the sizes are available. The first 10 are gonna be $10, just $10, and that includes shipping for anywhere inside the continental US. If you want to pick them up, the first 10 will be $10. Also, check out my the next video I'm going to pu put up. It's going to be a BoxyCharm unboxing, and there's going to be a giveaway involved in that one as well. And whoever wins that giveaway will also win a t-shirt. A Beer and Beauty Cheers t-shirt. This one's just a small. Also, if you'd like for me, you know, the holidays are coming up, vacation time is coming up, I can also custom make airbrush t-shirts for you guys so again I can write anything you want onto it I can write anything you want onto it I can create different colors and little images onto it so say you get your you and your family would like to have matching t-shirts for the holidays or for a vacation you guys are doing all together or um, for sporting events coming up I football season's still happening so sporting events could be a thing or even like bachelor parties or what have you, email me some ideas for an airbrush t-shirt project and I'd be happy to create that for you for, you know, a nominal fee. One last housekeeping thing before I go. I have selected a winner for my 1000 subscribers giveaway, but she still hasn't gotten back to me yet. So if you guys want to enter that still, if she had, if the, if the winner does not respond to me in the next two days, I'll pick a new winner. So if you guys want to enter that giveaway, I'll leave a link down below for that giveaway if you want to check it out. I hope you do. And that is it, guys. Thanks you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. I really enjoyed hanging out with you. And until next time, cheers! Bye!